What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another mm, Dominaria Cube. Nope, that ain't it. Dominaria Draft on Magic Online. So I... It's not the same odds to hurt you as to help you. It's really not. Okay, so okay, okay, so maybe it is the same odds to hurt you as to help you. Um, we, but we were actually in a heated discussion about whether it's correct to mill yourself or not. Uh, if there's no, it's it's it's. I'm just gonna respond to the chat real quick. We're probably taking time of ice. It's very strong. Uh, I think untamed Kavu is probably the second strongest card. It's the the odds of okay, so the odds that it does a detrimental thing to you and the odds of it doing a beneficial thing to you, those odds might be the same, but the level of risk like the level of detrimental thing is significantly higher than the level of beneficial thing. Like if the level of beneficial thing makes your life, hmm, makes your game go 10% better because you got close, you got two to three cards closer to the card you needed. Cool. That's, that's 20. That makes me, that means me, I'm, I'm doing 20% better. But if I mill the card that I need, I'm doing 100% worse. So like, like, I think the odds are the same. I will agree with you that the odds are the same. I'm going to take this Ergos because that guy seems insane. I think the odds are the same um, that it helps you or it hurts you. The problem is not the odds that it helps you or hurts you. The problem is the hurting it's doing is so much worse than the helping it does. That's where the confusion lies, I think. I'll take Blink of an Eye. Could take Radiant. Uh, fight with Fire, Ergos, or Blink of the Eye. Or, or... I th I, I'm Okay, so I'm, I don't want to take fight with fire because we actually just played blue red <laughs> so I kind of just don't want to go I don't know Ergo seems pretty good and I like being able to play black here so so yeah like I mentioned I'm not gonna I don't want to play blue red again I'm trying to I'm trying to mix it up I like blink of the blink of an eye a lot I also think this is a very very strong black card um, I think Gideon's Reproach is probably the pick here, but if I want to stay on color, I think Divination's fine. Jousting Lance is okay. Cabal Evangel, I don't know why you're in this pack. There are better six drops, so this is not only legendary, so it triggers your historic cards, but uh, there also weren't a ton of great black cards. Isn't the, just a the fight card better? I mean, there's a bunch of cards that were probably better. Like, we, I, like... You know, fight with fire was probably better, but let me fix this curtain because people are complaining. That should be better. I guess we'll find out. I feel like if I take reproach, I'm not staying open. I feel like by taking divination, I'm staying open, right? Because whatever. Return an instant card from your graveyard to your hand. That's actually pretty reasonable return our sorcery card until the end of turn we cast it you can copy it that actually seems i haven't played this in limited yet but it seems pretty good i'm gonna take mirari conjecture and see how it goes we also have radiant lightning or a fire intervention that could come back caligo skin or death bloom thalad could come back syncopate avon century if we white like there should be something that comes back from that pack top four cards how many can we mill I mean, Relic Runner actually seems good here when our first three of our first four picks are uh, are historic. This might be the Relic Runner deck. It also keeps us uh, in blue. It doesn't seem like there are enough mill cards to be a thing, unfortunately. Do we just take Yargle? <laughs> are we just Yargling, guys? <laughs> Take all the mill cards just so we can keep discussing it every time it comes up. Fantasia, what? N nevertheless, I appreciate the conversation. So, uh, good chat either way. Also, Yargle. I'm going to take Yargle here. And I can understand why some people might laugh at that, but... I think Yargle's where you want to be. I want to be Yargling all day, and I will take an Arcane Flight and put it on a Yargle and attack you. 
<coughs> I think it's Academy Drake here. I like Divination a lot, but Academy Drake's pretty versatile. But here's the thing. I like Divination because it goes good with Mirari Conjecture. It is a sorcery that we can return. So I'm actually going to take... I'm going to take the Drake. The Drake is much stronger. Oh, we get a Divination anyway. Get rewarded. And... Yeah, I'll take Divination. Oh, Arcane Flight, boys. I will play one Arcane Flight in this deck. I'm going to take this Radiant Lightning. It's it's better than Rescue. It's We're not going to play Rat Colony either, so... How many Explorers... Let's find out how many Explorers we can get. Is the 2-2 two, two for 2? What's the point of this, man? Fantasia, I was actually almost on board with main decking this. This card seems very, very good. There's also a lot of X1s. I'm going to take the other one. All right, two Explorers. This is four cards? Interesting. I think Divest is main deckable. It's also a sorcery for uh, Mirari Conjecture, so... I don't know if we're forcing Mill, but... I don't... Also, now, if we get the... Uh, if we get Weight of Memory, then we can actually Mill them, and uh, Fantasia what will we'll actually not mind, so... Ooh, that's a that's a spicy meatball. What's that dude go for? Eight tickets? All right, that's pretty good. I'll take that guy. Hunter doesn't need to be doing that. That's loud. If we don't play, actually, we have a reproach right now. We could just be blue white. This is also like if we get a bunch of uh, if we get a bunch of. Relic Runners. This is actually pretty good. We have History, Time of Ice, Mirari Conjecture. Alright, we'll see. We'll see what's going on. Alright, you guys are going on the sidelines for now, because History of Benelli is probably... This is just a three-mana Call of the Cavalry, right? And I love Call of the Cavalry. Which is probably the pick here, to be quite honest. It's Blink if we're blue, <laughs> Call if we're white. Oh, so I thought it was Dom too, and then I saw someone write it as Dar, but then every time I've looked it up, it was still Dom, and I don't understand actually which one it is. It's actually pretty confusing. I couldn't find a straight answer for that, for the hashtag for it. I think Call the Cavalry is just a better card, especially with Mirari Conjecture. Being able to get back calls. Yeah, I like Call here. Oh, look, we'll just take this blink. Everybody wins. When we cast a historic spell, target player puts the top two cards of the library into their graveyard. One, two, three, four. It's not good, right? We're not doing this, right? Look at this light song. Do I just take the song? Maybe we take Vicious Offering. I'm still not completely sold on white. I'm still not. I'm like, I'm in the middle of the road here. Vicious Offering is the best card in this pack. I mean, outside of song, but... Hers is Ruinous Blast. I don't hate buying back, actually, uh, History of Benalia. That seems pretty busted. Is just Caligo Skin Witch here? 
Ursus Ruinous Blast is great, but the only like the only re relevant cards we can actually use to cast it are Yargle and Urgos, so I'm not thrilled about that. I don't foresee us playing Blast because I don't really think Thank that's you. gonna happen. Jeezy Crazy, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it, is what we're trying to say here. I like Arcanist. I think Arcanist is good. A deep freeze is good. Alright, these picks are a little easier. Animus is is good. Could still go either way. I don't want to take a Drudge Sentinel when we have a. Uh, a deep freeze to take instead. You know what I always say: don't take a blue card when a, don't take a black card when a blue card will do the job. Relic runner. All right, relic runners are good in this deck. I don't think trickster is that great. Uh, it's a two-two for two blue, which is harder to cast. Uh, it also doesn't make the creature it, like it taps one guy for one turn, and then they just untaps. So, I, I don't know. Like, I think Feral Abomination is probably the best pick here. So, the problem with splashing black is that one of our best black cards is double black, so it's really hard to do. And it's just not worth it for a Yargle, Vicious Offering, Caligo Skin Witch. Also, Caligo Skin Witch is double black as well for kickering it, which it, it's not really worth splashing if you don't. So... Whatever. I'm not going to take Opt because I'm not a big fan of it. I'll just take Curator's Ward. Stronghold Confessor is a thing. Yeah, Stronghold Confessor is the playable card. Sure. <clears throat> ba -da -dup -dup -da -dup. Oh, Poet's actually good with three sagas. I agree with that. I just don't know if we're, we're white yet. Wow, another divination. I'll play that. Maybe we're just mono blue. Do you guys think we're mono blue? Arcane Flight only comes in if we have Yargle. And then we're going to be Yargle and some dudes. Or dudettes. Oh boy, are we? Are we, Esper guys? Are we? Are yell? I mean, Verdant Force is great, but we're clearly not Verdant Forcing. How are we not white? I mean, we just don't have enough white cards, that's all. It also is a knight itself. I'm going to take the Ariel. We're going to just... Oh, Tragos. This seems like the best Tragos deck I've had in a long time. Also, another Vicious Offering. I think it's Tragos. Tra Traxos. Traxos. I'm going to take the Traxos. I'm going to take these Homerun Explorers out. It was a cute meme that I was hoping we could we could actually do. Double Verdant Force. Hmm. Yeah. That's a thing. Well... Navigator's Compass could be good with the Traxos, just because we get to untap it. I don't think we want to take it third pick over something like a Pegasus Courser. Especially because that could give Traxos flight. Um, I also don't think we care about a second blink here. Yeah, this is pretty gross. Also, we have Yargle as well, which is great for Courser, so... I'm on board for all of these things that we're doing here. 
Academy Drake is is good. Uh, Mesa Pegasus is great. Could just be Joust. Uh, I like Pegasus better than Jousting Lance. Alright, we'll put Reproach back in. We'll put Call the Cavern. Are we splashing for Yargle, though? Is that a thing we're doing? I can see a splashing for Vicious Offering. Uh, Sentinel actually seems really good in this deck. Blink any of these after their trigger. Put the trigger on the stack, blink it. Oh boy, that seems great. I have yet to play a Sentinel to Pearl Trident deck, but this is probably the one. Uh, Syncope. Ah, uh, Tragic Poet. Also, this is a Tragic Poet deck if I've ever seen one. Oh, short sword seems fine. Syncopate's also fine. I think it's probably syncopate. Syncopate's probably better than short sword. This does not seem like a short sword deck. Sword definitely does un untap Traxxas. How many other things untap Traxxas in our deck right now? I do like having a single paid. It's just a solid answer. And we can take one of these. Oh, it's just Mesa Unicorn number infinite. It's got to be Jousting Lance, right? We have double Relic Runner too. Uh, so all of these untap Traxxas. Probably take out a Divination. Jousting Lance is fine. Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh, if that's not just perfect. I will 100% play Voltaic Servant in our Traxos deck. I like and evoke the Divine. Sure. This deck's pretty interesting. This is definitely the most interesting deck I've I've played so far. We have no six drops here. I guess we have Academy Drake, which is like a seven drop kind of. So we can put you here, put you there. Let's assume both Drakes are gonna be at seven. <coughs> I can see putting Invoke in here. Uh, the problem is we don't have much fixing. We don't have any fixing. We have no no Surveyor Scouts. Uh, we're just at the mercy of Divination. So I might actually just want to play another Divination. I like Pegasus Courser and Ariel a lot. <laughs> I also like it with Traxos. Yeah, I'm going to keep the black to the one card. That seems seems greedy to do otherwise. Relic? We have two Relic Runners, though. Like This is probably one, some of the most historic cards I've played. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Seven historic cards, double Relic Runner? I don't think so. That seems really good. I think I want to play the other divination over the invoke here. I just want to make sure we draw into our our single swamp. Yeah, that seems fine. Well, not not this. It's eight eight one for sure with double white. Oh, 
Oh my god, we can un we can blink the t the blink the uh, the Marari's conjecture, and then keep getting the blink back. Bjorn, that's pretty gas, dude. This deck seems great. <laughs> I will play first. Yeah, this hand seems fine. And he lands, and we're good to go. And if we get a third land, we can play call on turn turn three. That's pretty good. Could have been eight seven two. We could have put two lands in. We could have, we should probably should have put two lands in, but I think it's fine. Nice. <clears throat> oh, the old Battle of the One Threes. That was a good draw. I will double block this guy if he comes at me. Come at me, bro. You didn't. You did not come at come at me. I'm just gonna play Pegasus Courser here. For obvious reasons. Kind of a bad the same. Owner two Teferi from TCG Friday night after F and M. I got emails from two different stores Sunday after the team's match ended. Both orders canceled due to price spike. Went from 70 to 35. TCG is penalizing the store. Interesting. Uh, they probably won't get lost in the mail if it's from TCG player. Like, TCG player is really good about that stuff. Like, they'll probably be sending them themselves. I think we just play this guy. And probably this guy as well. This is this is the old go wide. This could trigger a relic runner at some point or something, but Well, that's annoying. Yeah, so you got a bunch of one three and two two flyers. Well, there you go. There you go. I need one of those. I got two in here. Can I get one of those? I will also take a Traxos. Yeah, this common's great. I don't think we've seen. We, I don't think we saw any of these in our in our three packs. Oh boy. Where's that charge when you need it? They really can't do anything though. <laughs> Yeah, so in situations like that, I don't think TCG player, like, sends them a stern email and says, you better send these cards. Because they really can't, because they might not have the cards. So in that situation, I'm pretty sure TCG player just sends them to you. That would be my guess. Hey, look, we did it. interesting yeah this is a situation where like if you milled if you targeted yourself with weight and milled your one swamp oh i see so i've helped you in every conceivable way oh 
Oh, all right. Hey, boy. We got to do it now, otherwise they... Well, I guess they don't do anything, really, but... Sure. Well, isn't that nice? God, some people just draw all their divinations, I guess. Not me. First blood. Temporary is causing problems. This plus one makes you untap lands and not a maze. So it's causing people to untap opponents' lands. And temporary. Oh my god. That's amazing. Lee bad. I didn't know you could untap opponents' lands. Joke's on me, I guess. Alright, we're going to keep on rolling this guy out. Sure. My Voltaic Servant, no! All right, you got it, buddy. Oh, so you thought it would say, you thought, um, you thought you'd have the, you'd target it and then you have the option of, of saying no? Target creature. All right, so you're going four. That's pretty good. So long, Pegasus Courser. All right. Well. Well, I don't know what to do here because they don't have a great board, but where are my historic cards at? Mirari Conjecture getting back Blink seems pretty insane. And then we can get back Call? Oh god, come on. Just stop it. These top decks have been insane. I don't even know if they're top decks, but I guess I'm just glad you can't bounce this guy. How many points did we miss with this Relic Hunter? This Relic Runner? So like six, I guess? That's pretty sad. You guys are yelling at me to attack with the Relic Runner. I get that. Alright, we're just going to block everybody, I guess. Block you, block you, block you. No, double block you. Cool. Scoop them up. I mean, they have five in the air and they can just shoot us. So that's game. Oh, look at that little buddy. All right, we are going to take out one island for one more swamp. That was probably a bad choice, but other than that, I think Redek is fine. I'm going to keep it. We took out an island, so uh, planes are our highest represented, our basic land.
Call the cavalry into Mariah Conjecture could be good. I would, I'd probably rather wait until we get an instant in the graveyard. Thank you. Hail Dog, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Okay. I'm going to Divination here because I'd rather just make sure I hit lands next turn. I also rather go tra Traxos into Ariel. That seems pretty solid. <clears throat> I wish I didn't have two sorceries. All oh, rampaging Cyclopsis. You got it. Take four. That's pretty good. Let's do that instead. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm blocking it. Oh, you got. Oh, you're gonna run a muck on me. Okay. What we got? Like four here. It's pretty good. It's aggressive. What can we do? We can call the cavalry. We can also play Drake Courser. It's not great. Probably just want to play Call the Cavalry here. And next time we can play Ariel, and we'll get the buff from this guy. Profane Orifice, go for it. Yep, that is fine and dandy. Give me them knights. I guess we get to keep one, but this is 11, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alternatively, we get to keep two. They block one, and then we deal seven, eight, nine, then we deal 11. I'd rather just block like this. Uh, it's pretty good because we can play a thing. So we can play this guy and also just play any one of these other cards, which is great. Sometimes you just might want to float and block her. All right, Let's see if we got it. <coughs> I'm probably 1,000% blocking this. They're probably going to take in Bolus's clutches here, which is pretty good. Oh, all right. And we did it. I want to bring this invoke in. Let's go to 41. I'm fine with that. Um, because they have Inbolus's clutches. 
And that is a card I'm more than... They also have the... Uh, didn't they have the 5-5? Five, five, the... Maybe? I don't know. I'll keep this hand. Any hand with our Swamp. All three lands is good. They went to six on the play. Okay. Two drop? No two drop. We got Blink for Mirari Conjecture. Combo! Ooh, interesting. Do you just wait here? I'm just going to wait. We got Syncopate. Yeah, this seems pretty good for us. That is a good card to get rid of. That is a good card to just slam on the board. All right, everything's coming up Millhouse. This hand seems great. In the clutches of... Oh, that's sad. Well, I'm just going to play it again. I ain't scared. Okay, I'll take it. You can have your... I'll, I'll assume you have Run Amok. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Land, please. No land. And not a card we can cast. This is obnoxious. I don't think they have Shiv and Fire. I think they have Run Amok because we've seen Run Amok. If they have Shiv and Fire, they probably would have just killed this as a 4-4. And they would have just dealt 4 to it. And not cared about it. I kind of just want to hit a land here, but I don't foresee it happening. Actually, if we hit a planes, I think it's actually very good for us. Let's We didn't we hit a unicorn, which is actually also just fine. What are we going to discard here? Let's discard I think it's Academy Drake, actually. Sure. I mean, you're going to run amok. Run amok now. We'll rent two of it. It's whatever. Oh, that was beautiful. Just gorgeous. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna blow my nose real quick. I'll 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 save you the the heartache. Okay, not thrilled about the outcome, but this is an easy block. Next turn, we got an easy block. We get to keep up Blink. <coughs> yeah, this seems fine. Seems being the operative word. Next turn, this is going to trigger for our Knights. We get to, uh, oh, you're going to pay costs, huh? Barrage. Mm. 
Yeah, whatever. It's fine. If they get to play this guy again, that's totally fine. I'll take one. And then, trigger on the stack. Blink you. Play land. Play poet. Really? You just take four this turn and have an 0-4 blocker for the rest of the game, so it seems not ideal. We also get to get back Blink here. We're going to take two and go to four. Oh, you're just going to play that guy. Okay. We can go one, two, three, we can keep up nothing. Hmm. If we had one more land, I'd be much more willing to play this. I want to keep up the blink to blink this, but I guess we have Tragic Poet on board. They have two cards, so I'm more concerned with this Academy Drake. We have Courser, though. <coughs> Excuse me. One, three, take two, sure. One, two, one, two, three. We have to keep two up if we do that. I kind of just want this to keep... Oh, uh, I don't know why I got that, but all right. That was, that was a thing to inter interrupt my game for. That's pretty cool. Three, four, six. Eight mana is like the sweet spot here. Just gonna Mirari conjecture here. Staying alive and making them replay their Drake is probably more important. Alan, have a good night, buddy. I don't really want to go to four when they have multiple G2 journey mages in their deck. Yep, that is fine. Two of them? Oh, wow. Wow. Good lord. Yeesh. Well then. We're definitely playing Pegasus. Play the land so we can actually... Actually, I guess we don't have to Divination here. We could just Divination next turn. Because we can Divination and copy it next turn.
<clears throat> yeah, I kind of just want a divination here, though. Okay. I feel like we're pretty far behind, unfortunately. Uh, Lance on Corsair, we might... I don't think we have enough to do it now. <coughs> and kill us. Yeah, obviously. Unbelievable. Never didn't have the perfect answers, unfortunately. All right. Talking about me loving mountains? That's dirty. You guys are all terrible. You guys are terrible mountain loving monsters. <clears throat> I'll keep this hand. I'll also keep this jousting lance to untap our Traxos. I'll keep. Oh, Cinco Pato. Yeah, so when we're in a situation like this and I just don't think Academy Drake is really worth putting down the Syncopate Shields, I just won't. Yeah, I don't care about that. Nope. Oh, boy. All right, now we're just going to play all our best cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ice on the floor makes for a wet sock. My life has changed. You are not wrong. Because I was not wrong. Wow. Well, that's sad that you would do that, but some people have no souls. <clears throat> mm. 
Mirari conjecture feels pretty bad here with nothing in her graveyard, but that's life. Life is just sometimes not have anything in your in your in your trash can. Oh, wow. No blocks. Oh, now I feel better about that. Now we can just divination, keep up Cinco Pato. Or we'll just attack for four. Make a night. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Apologies again. Still getting over a cold, in case you guys couldn't tell by my disgusting voice. Oh, oh, I see what you had. That's cute. Now this is great because we get to we get to do this for one. And we get to divination still. Or we can make a knight. Probably make a knight. Do we play a land this turn? We played an island. Yeah, we can make a knight. That was pretty good. What up, Batlord? Also, for those who don't know, I am producing uh, some new written and audio content on my Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash franklapore. If you guys are interested, you can head over on there to support me. It's a... Uh, Different than Twitch, it's different than the streams and the and the YouTube content. But if you guys do uh, enjoy that, you're welcome to support there as well at a lower tier. That grun's pretty big. History of Banalia. That was an Academy Drake. What we wanted was a land. What we got was a deep freeze. Well, we got the land, too. I don't want to imply that we didn't. I guess we can attack, right? Yeah, right? Unless your last card is charge, I'm feeling pretty okay about this. It does get Grun in the graveyard, which is could be worse, but it's not really worse because I'd rather it off the board. Oh, all right. You're keeping that 4-4 blocker. I got you. This is where they just top deck the Invoke or the Blessed Light to get rid of the Deep Freeze and attack for 10. And we can chump block with Knights for a while, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We do get to get back uh, Syncopate followed by Divination, which is... Exactly how we drew it up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no spells, no attacks. I like it. I like it. Now I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna attack. We're just gonna keep up Knight and we're gonna keep up uh, Single Pate for two. I don't know if that's gonna be great, but we also have double Academy Drake, so I feel like we're in good shape here. This deck is sweet. Yeah, I don't really care about that guy.
<clears throat> Excuse me. Basically dead. Give me that sweet divination that we won't play until next turn. One, two, three, four. Now we, yeah, we don't really feel safe attacking, unfortunately. Could attack with everything. Tap two knights to give this guy. Maybe that's the play. Then we gotta yeah, but then we gotta pay three for this idiot. Do I just wanna play Drake for four? As a four four is what I meant to say there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Give up single pay for one. I think it's safe to take the shield now, at least. Could also play just Jousting Lance. I don't think I care about that, though. We also have Double Relic Runner, so, you know. So this is 14. We got three attackers. You have no cards in hand. So I need to block four guys. One, two, three, four, three, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. That's actually fine. <clears throat> that card's actually great and limited. Like once you get to turn eight or nine, like I, mean, I don't think you have to do that much setup. Your setup is like having lands. Like they have seven two twos for three mana. Like we block four, we lose two guys, or we can block two and take ten damage. That seems pretty good. If their board was a little better, I think it's like it's just very strong. I think we can just go to eight here. I'm not gonna lose two two knights to. All right, Mirari connection, conjecture. Subtle wreckage seems pretty okay. I'll kill all your lands and give you more lands. Oh, give me that copy. Oh, uh, we can't use Ariel before damage because we don't actually have any, we didn't have the mana. We have two mana up. Oh, should I cost a black for that? I didn't even know that. I thought that was. I thought they were both three mana abilities. That's interesting. All right, we do a double black now. That's pretty good. What's the play here? Can we just kill you somehow? Probably not, right? I don't know where Mike is. I don't keep track of Mike. I guess we could have blinked you and blinked you. You wanted two blockers. Maybe that's better. I don't know. Magic's hard. Look at the way they arrange these lands now that it's over. That's amazing.
Yeah, that's why I know. That's why I mentioned that. I mean, we still have the win on board. So I'm okay with that. Yeah, I don't think they have anything here. They've basically F6. Bum, 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 bum. All right, that was good. That was good. We did good. You did real good, kid. <coughs> I don't think we want to bring anything in. I don't think we care about anything else here. Our deck has it all. It does everything you want it to do. I will keep this hand. How aggressive. We were totally actually we had we had double Hamard Explorers in the main deck for we were trying to go for the mill plan, so it's actually funny you mentioned that. We took them out though. They weren't. I just came to see a copy divination will not leave disappointment. We drew off we drew four cards for three mana. How do you even compete with that? The worst part about this is how, how this pairs up against, like, the kicked cards. Because I never want to bounce a card like this. Because then just like, alright, cool, I'll just hold it. Well, mill's not a thing until you make it a thing. I will not block that guy. If you attacked with Llanowar Elves, I'd probably block. Ooh, no play. Okay. Okay. I probably just want a Divination here so we have a decent play for next turn. If you're not attacking with Land of War Elves, you're probably not blocking with Land of War Elves. Seems good. Boy, don't you know that Land of, that this card killed you last game? Unblockable. Can't beat it. Ugh, gross. Stir-fried potato just sounds pretty good. I would not blame you for stir for, for for curry powdering that. I'm a fan of the things you're saying right now, Batlord. Oh boy. Oh boy, with Sentinel the Pearl Trident no less. Woo! I love that they gave this guy flash, so you can actually put the trigger on the stack and then blink it. It's just actually very elegant. That sounds delicious, dude. 
Plus we get to keep both of these up. Shoot. Get in there. Do your job, Relic Runner. Envious X, thank you so much for the resub. Appreciate it. Four months in a row. Just, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I want to cape that, you see. Yep, you got Grun. Grunny. Man, this Relic Runner is going to really... Attempt to just play Jousting Lance, equip it for four. Next turn, another four. I mean, we can chump block here. This is probably just too good. It's probably just too much damage. I will untap my Jousting Lance. Come on, let's do it. We... We can do it! That's not a card we care about unless you hit something great, a creature or land. Ooh, no hits. This is why I hate this card. Three cards is just not enough. Alright, they have one card. Feeling good. Just grun. What a lonely king. I figured you'd be a fan of tasty food. I mean, that doesn't sound like a joke at my expense. Unless you're like... Unless it's a weight joke, in which case... Am I really like one of the... Am I really one of the bigger magic players? I don't think so. That's a weird... I don't really take that weight joke uh, that offensively. Or that, that joke at my expense that offensively, I guess. Alright, let's try this again. This Relic Runner is going get, to get the job done. Oh, it's not? Oh, that's so sad. Relic Runner, why you do this? Boy. Feels bad, man. Relic Runner, you were the chosen one. So sad. Let's seal away. Interesting. What did you draw, you sneaky man? We did it. Yep, sure. That's a good draw, but not if you're trying to... <coughs> not if you're trying to uh, cast it.
If you press six, the undo is five. Oh, the old Alt F4, huh? Funny joke. That's a good one. It's a classic. Really? What is happening right now? They have one card? Can I just profitably blink? Like, we miss one trigger. They have a sapperling to block anyway, so I don't care. Actually, we'll just block here and here. That seems good. I'll trade one knight for one sentinel, or for one, uh, for one baird. Trigger. Guy. Trigger. Guy. Mesa Unicorn. Alright, this is where magic happens. Lanamore Scout. That doesn't seem very exciting. We're probably going to put the Lifelink on the Mesa Unicorn. Or the, the Lance, rather. You can't put Lifelink on a Unicorn. It already has it. So, any two of these are lethal, so you do have to block two of them, which just eats both of your guys. Seems good. And uh, that's the end of that. All right. <coughs> not terrible. I'm not looking forward to having to download this VOD afterwards to to edit the second draft. Which, if you guys are watching on YouTube, will have seen before this draft. So, Are you trying to drink more water in general? No, not really. That's just, I mean, I just, that's just to try to stay uh, hydrated. I don't think it's specifically water. I'll keep this hand. I'll, I'll trust in the power of the, of the swamp. And in the power of the history of Benalia. We're going to go history of Benalia into swamp. All right, jousting lance is fine. All right, we're close. We're halfway there. I'm 
waiting. That ain't it. All right. I think Lance is still stronger here. Or we attack for two. Yeah, we can play Drake and keep a... Or we can play Drake here and play a Reproach and keep up Lance. Or vice versa, play Lance, keep up Reproach next turn. Unless they want us to block. Sure. Didn't think you would. This is a card that I've been underwhelmed by. It's hard to get historic cards in your graveyard because they're not that common. And three mana to just loot is pretty expensive. I think the benefit there is that it does trigger your your cards that have historic triggers. <coughs> um Yeah, let's get this out of the way. Leaves our Relic Runner free and our Gideon's Reproach free, so. And if they don't take the bait, next turn we can equip and Reproach then. I wish this Lance cost two. It's so, it's two, two to equip. It's so awkward at three. Like it costs, because you play a two drop, like, you play it on two and equip it on three, but there's nothing to do there. So you have to play it on three, wasting a mana, and then equip it on four, wasting other mana. So it's just kind of like, it's a really awkward, it's just awkwardly cost it. Oh boy. Sure. Non-lands. Yeah, this guy's dead. Goodbye, bird friend. All right, that's good. That's a nice draw. It's almost like it had unblockable. Oh god. Oh, that's actually fine. Wow, you're one mana shy to actually kick that? God, this guy seems so bad on four. I mean, not bad, but like... The amount better it is on seven than it is on four is so interesting to me. Hmm. I really feel like I just want Pegasus here. This is really weird. Yeah, this song is going to be sad. Yeah, that's 6, 8, 9, 12, 12, 13. I think we can just take all this. Why do they have Vigilance too? I don't know. <laughs> Go to 9. I think it's a play more stuff. They get to exile this, which is historic, which is nice. Just draw a card. Oh, I see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's pretty good. Gas, gasoline, and they're three man away from recasting that guy. Wait, what do you, what is, oh, all right, I was like, what do you have here? What does your blue-green deck have? 
I mean, they are, they're, are their, their green-white deck is what we were talking about because they didn't have any blue mana free there. So four, five... Yeah, okay. So they go to seven, and if we can draw any artifact, we can uh, deal seven to them. Three, four, five, six, seven. We go to two if we don't block anything, and that's assuming they don't have any kind of tricks. Wild Onslaught. Alright, well we're definitely blocking now. Because I don't want to die. Hmm. Alright, so... If we can just play two guys. Block, block. We don't have enough for their dinosaur. We don't want to block with this guy because we don't have a way to get those. All right, we're gonna put the we're gonna move the. All right, here we go. Let's see if they have a way to deal two extra damage here. We know one of the cards in their hand. Oh God! Yeah, of course you do. Fantastic. Let's see if we would have drawn a card that would have triggered this guy. I guess we'll never know. Alright, seems good. Nicely done. <clears throat> Bring and invoke. Call it a day. Radiant Lightning would be pretty sick, but we're already splashing... We have two Radiant Lightnings? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, if we kept the Pegasus up, like, potentially we have a way to win with the Relic Runner. But... I mean... I don't know. Magic's hard. What's the hold up here? All right, let's try this again. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. We're just gonna top deck history of Benalia here because we don't have any white now. That's just how magic or the gathering works.
Divination was pretty good there. Uh, Black White Knights, I have no idea what your deck has, so I can't say. I mean, if it's if it's it's possible. What's Vana's creature type? The vampire knight or vampire soldier? All right, now we're getting somewhere. Area and history of Benalia. That's what we're looking for here. What in the sh... Interesting. Mm, blah. That's real sad. Like, I definitely don't want to use... A removal spell on this 2-3. I'd much rather use it on this guy because he's at least a... At least he's a lord. Oh, Vampire Knight. Sweet. So that is a uh, viable, viable option for... Really? For a knight's deck. That's pretty sweet. No attacks. No further plays with four mana either. Interesting. Yeah, unfortunately I don't think this deck is working out. We're not really drawing anything great here and... I already feel like we're kind of way behind. Oh, they're gonna wow! They're gonna make three guys here that are also plus one plus one from the. Th oh, that's actually all right. That's better for us. One, two, three, four, five. They get to untap with seven mana though. Eight if they play a land. That's pretty busted. Oh god. Yeah. That is problematic as a 5 6. I mean, if I have Gideon's approach, this guy's dead either way. All right. Well, just never play. Just never attack into me ever, I guess. Mesa Unicorn. Okay, man. Well, what can you do? I would love it if they untapped and then in response to the trigger on the stack, they made three saprolings. That'd be amazing. That did not happen, though, so. We just can't beat anything here. So actually, you probably shouldn't have kept Reproach. We probably should have Deep Freeze. But my, my head's not really in this game because we just have nothing going on for us. Really? Huh. That's pretty good. I don't think we have any kind of answer for a 6-7 flyer. Guess we just chump block something. Yep. All right. I think we're done here, guys. All right. On that note, unfortunate sweet deck turned out not so sweet. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And uh, again, if you want to support uh, my content or get new content, uh, feel free to check out patreon.com slash Frank Lepore and uh, a little dollar a month can get you some sweet articles and content. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.